Hi, I'm Nathan Sobeck with SobeSource.com. Um, today I want to start uh, the first part of a three-part series where I'm going to discuss a, a Double Den car PC on the project I've been working on for about two or three months. Really has kind of been a uh, brainchild for two or three years. Um, but I've had actual build time for about two or three months. Not because it takes that long to build, um, but because I had several criteria that I wanted to meet. One of which was get everything inside the unit. Um, which is actually within the constraints of fitting inside pretty much every double den uh, vehicle. Um, that was a crucial piece. Um, you'll notice that this is a, is a relatively standard case which you can get offline through eBay means. Um, there, are, there are other people who are using this exact same case and screen. Um, also a company who builds them and sells them for you. Um, that being said, their original case and size is considerably too large to fit in pretty much any double den. This is actually how much shorter it is than uh, factory. Um, I've gotten the whole depth of the case down to just shy of seven and a half inches. Um, that's pretty much small enough to fit inside of any double den space that you have in your vehicle. Um, that being said, if you look around hard enough, you'll find a company that does sell these and they started to grand and go up to a pretty significant amount. Um, I have sourced all my parts. I have not used any parts that I already had um, besides, you know, like basic stuff like black tape, stuff like that, um, and hot glue. Um, I managed to build this whole machine from start to finish in right about $612. Um, it's fast, it's quiet, doesn't require a fan on board, it's low heat. The whole thing at 100% load only uses about 2 amps. Um, it is f Windows, not some degraded, small, compact version, but full-blooded x86 architecture. Um, I'm actually running 64-bit on this machine, um, so um, and I went with Windows 10 uh, for a couple of reasons. I was actually planning on going with Windows 7, and um, after playing around with Windows 10 and turning off all of the um, non-privacy features, it boots faster and it has some great tablet features built in that was kind of nice. Um, that's really the only real reason why I went with Windows 10 to be honest about it. There are a lot of other peeves that I won't get into here. Um, so that being said, it, uh, oh I bumped the uh, ignition cable, that's why it turned off. Everything is internal inside this machine except for one component. I didn't meet my full criteria minus one component and that was the amplifier itself. Um, I did find a handful of amplifiers that I could have fit within the small amount of space that I have left but I kind of felt that I could have met my criteria but I would not have reached my quality preference that I really wanted to meet. Um, so I ended up did going with an external amplifier. Um, I didn't go with anything expensive. It was just a cheap Four channel boss whatever off of eBay. Um, I think I spent like maybe thirty bucks on it, if if that. Um, and it even included a um, I'm an eight gauge power kit and everything and a whole bunch of RCAs that I won't need. But so yeah. That being said, um, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. In the second part of the series, we're gonna I'm gonna have everything straw or laid out. I'm gonna go through every component. Um, I'm probably going to rant way too much about each component, why I chose it, some of my pros and cons about them, um, why I chose them. and uh, Then in the last part, the third part, uh, I will actually show you from start to finish assembling it, how I put it together, how it's layered, what parts I've used. Um, I will say that the, one, the only real specialty tool you'll need to build this outside of basic stuff, and by, and by basic stuff I mean um, just wire cutters, um, some heat shrink tubing, in a soldering iron. Outside of that, you're really only the only piece that I use was a 3D printer for three brackets and the whole thing. Um, I will be including the STL so you can just straight up print them, and I will also be including the part file so you can edit them to your heart's content. Um, all I ask is, is that if you edit them, please share them, share them back with me, share them with your friends, share them with everybody else in the community. Just you know, contribute. Um, because there are definitely ways to improve. Um, I have definitely not thought of everything, and there's some things I wish I, I, I could upgrade to. 
So if you make improvements upon what I've done already, please, by all means, share them. That's kind of the idea here. Um, I think in this day and age, technology is really caught up to where you can get everything in a small enough package by buying everything completely off the shelf. Um, the one thing I wanted to stay away from was uh, making my own PCB boards and stuff because I really want this to be as reproducible by the average um, electronics hobbyist as possible. Um, I've wanted one of these for a long time and the options for full Windows is just not available. I know that Android is really coming out of the market big time now. You can purchase full Android machines, but um, I just wanted a Windows machine. I've always wanted one, and I didn't want to go through the hassle of, of putting the PC in the trunk and having to run all the wires up to the dash and then having to run the amps back and etc. etc. I really wanted everything to be a complete all-in-one unit um, with a lot of options. So that being said, I think I've covered nearly everything that I need to cover um, as far as the introduction goes. And um, I hope you stick around, and I hope you definitely give me some input. You know, there are some things I probably could have done better, and, and there are going to be some people who are going to be like, well, if you'd have done this and done that. Um, a lot of it was a mixture of making sure it fits, making sure it works, trying to do it as cheap as possible, but not the crappiest parts possible. Um, I went really high end in some areas and really low end in other areas, um, so that just so they met where they needed to be. Um, so that being said, I guess let's get into that.